Bruno, it was an eventful match today. What, what did you think of it? I think we, first, my, my words go for, for the fans because they come and they support us uh, in, difficult, in the, the difficult stadium, hard place to, to play, and they support us since the, the, first, man, uh, the first minute. And then for the players, they did everything we, we asked for. They fight until the end for the game, even with the 10 men. They were brave, they run, they fight. In the, in the end, we tried to create uh, our chances to, to score one goal and take one point. But nine minutes, one more time after Liverpool, now Man City, proud of them. Now we need to move on. We have Brighton in front of us and that's the spirit. Well, it was close. There was almost the chance for an equaliser there at the end from, from Max Kilman. Um, but the, the scoreline could have been a lot different if it wasn't for Jose Sarr today. He made some fantastic saves and very important ones. I mean, defensively, are you, are you pleased with, with how they performed? No, everything, uh, the way we, we try to, to play, because when we play against them, you know how they, how they, they defend, how they press. We try to find our spaces. And for sure, Jose is there. I know him since he was young, like... I know since uh, some of the players of Man City since they, they were young and I'm proud of Jose because it's a hard place to come, it's a hard place. Uh, when he comes to Wolves, he knows he, he replaces uh, a big goalkeeper, but he's doing very well and very, I'm very happy with him. The penalty decision, VAR spent a long time having a look at that handball. What, what did you think of, of that moment? I think VAR is important for the Mordor football. And uh, I didn't realize how much time they, 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 they spent there, but I think maybe they went, they, they want to see an image and the ball touch in, the, in his arm. So Juan said to me, and after I said the image, it touch here, touch here in the arm. I think it's a hard decision for us. I think it's a hard decision for us. And since the beginning, we have some hard decisions for us, but let's forget the referee. And let's move on. And the, the most important thing is we, we feel very, I feel very proud for my players and very happy from the, 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 the support our fans give us since the first minute. And just before half time, of course, we went down to 10 men as well. What, what was your opinion of, of the two, two yellows for Raul? Yeah, I agree with the second yellow. So, you know, Raul is a spirit player. He knows he did one thing uh, after he needed to take care of him. Um, he knows uh, when he was inside, you know, the mistake he did. Uh, but second, the first yellow card is, I, I saw the image, he didn't touch the, the midfielder, He's, we have 10 men behind the ball, it was a easy fault. Man City did uh, more faults in the transition, and they, they, I, I don't know if they give the yellow cards in the in fault transitions. And so, but now we not, cannot see that, we need to, we need to move on. Well, okay. looking, at, looking ahead for, to that Brighton game in, in three days, they've of course had the weekend off because their game against Spurs was postponed. How are you going to prepare the players for that another difficult match? The same way we prepare the game against Burnley. They rest, they, they will rest, they will, and I saw, I, I for sure we will prepare the game in the best way and put the best 11 to, to win that game. Brilliant, okay. thank you, Bruno. Thank you.